Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, please help us. So many of your children are confused and don't know what to believe. Please call your priests back to teaching the tradition of faith in union with your most sacred heart. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles with you here on a Wednesday evening. Well, you know, we, um, we uh, shouldn't forget that um, other Christian churches are um, having the same difficulty and going through the same uh, division and, you know, um, disagreement, um, you know, about the same sort of issues that the Catholic Church is. And here's an example here. The United Methodist Church top legislative assembly convened Sunday for a high-stakes three-day meeting likely to determine whether America's second-largest Protestant denomination will fracture due to divisions over same-sex marriage and the ordination of gay clergy. While other mainline Protestant denominations, such as the Episcopal and Presbyterian churches, have embraced gay-friendly practices, the Methodist Church still bans them, even though acts of defiance by pro-LGBT clergy have multiplied and talk of a possible breakup of the church has intensified. At the church's upcoming general conference in St. Louis, 864 invited delegates, split evenly between lay people and clergy, are expected to consider several plans for the church's future. Several Methodist leaders say they expect a wave of departures from the church regardless of the decision. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think there is any plan where there won't be some division and some people will leave, said David Watson, a dean and professor at United Theological Seminary in Dayton, Ohio, who will be attending the conference. Um, well, you know, you can see here, well, there's more to the article. I really don't care to read any more. Um, I just, you know, that's another thing that we need to keep in mind is that, um, you know, Christian churches for the last several years have been dealing with the same issues. Um, um, you know, the Southern Baptists, um, I didn't, I don't think I posted a video on that, but, um, there were hundreds of cases that, um, a couple of um, television stations in Texas, I believe in Dallas, uh, teamed up and uh, really did a lot of digging over a, a rather long period of time and came up with uh, a few hundred cases of, um, you know, um, of, of abuse, of sexual abuse of minors. Um, and, you know, that really shook the um, Southern Baptist uh, um, you know, religion, or you know, uh, you know uh, that sect of Christianity. Um, so you know, I mean, well, I, I haven't read anything about any um, <clears throat> any follow up to that, but um, you know, I, mean, I think they're trying to sort it out right now and figure out what to do. Um, but you know, I mean, this United Methodists, you know, what what are they dividing over? Same-sex marriage, ordination of gay clergy, you know, same thing we're dealing with, or one of the things we're dealing with. So, um, you know, so the, the, the problem is really throughout Christianity. So, you know, you want to keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, if you're interested in the article, um, it's uh, in the Associated Press religion page, uh, and I'll leave the, uh, uh, the link in the um, description box for you. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll probably talk to you tomorrow at this point, so bye.